This is a, a really interesting program that you've launched uh, this year uh, with a tour guide and then taking uh, clients like uh, Meg uh, out on the floor and really trying to find uh, the signal and all the static um, here at CES. Walk us through how the, the beginnings of that and what you've learned so far. We heard from our clients loud and clear, my first year here is get us out on the floor, there's so much to explore. And so we took that feedback we get from surveys and really tried to modify how our approach was on, on the ground here. So uh, Meg, you took a, uh, a tour. Um, what did you see out there? We're in the business of experiences for people. Right? We deliver incredible vacations at sea, and so anything that we can do to deliver um, an enhanced guest experience while they're on the ship, uh, or improve how we can communicate and enhance their cruise pre and post, that's what we're looking for, and how can technology help us to be ever more successful in that. So what did you both see today? Um, we saw a couple things that we think are very different about what the consumer, how, what's happening with design and how consumer behavior is impacting design. So there were some things we saw with play, the future of play and what we think that can impact what might happen on a ship. So there were a couple things we saw that take play to another level and really personalize that approach to play. So a couple of things that we saw that we really liked um, were some of the simulators that now people can do to fully participate in a physical activity, because we have a lot of wellness and fitness activities on board. So there's some very cool simulation things, there's some very cool fitness things, the kettlebell, I can't remember what it was called. Uh, Jack's Jocks. Yes, very cool. It's like a personal kettlebell. Um, so imagine being able to do what with, we have sets of full sets of kettlebells in our gyms on the ship, imagine being able to do that with a much lighter weight and much fewer things sitting around so we could offer a more diversified range of activities in the gym. We actually bought some equipment off the floor today, so you'll have to go on the ship to find out what it is. The travel and cruise line business has been uh, you know, sort of leading the way in a lot of like customer journey and experience experimentation. Um, what's, what innovation do you think you'll bring on board in the next year or so that uh, will sort of help continue that trend? Very good question. So other than what we bought today, <laughs> we're going to test, um, so more on that later. Uh, we're always looking to push the envelope and leverage technology and some things that aren't so technology heavy um, to, to enhance the experience. And a recent example that we launched is a racetrack on top of um, Norwegian Joy initially, now on Norwegian Bliss. Um, there's another one coming with Norwegian Encore in the fall. But the next one is even more innovative than the last two. It goes over the side of the ship. We just announced that. So it actually cantilevers out over the ship. So you can literally drive a race car above the water. You can go up to, I think, 40 miles an hour on the track. Not everybody's allowed to do that. That requires special skill. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's an example of how we think about innovation, something that people can't do anywhere else, something that we uniquely can do at sea, something that nobody thought could be done. Um, but when we saw today in, with OMD, um, what we were able to start to see is how technology can offer a wider variety of experiences that can be more personalized to the guests. So that's an example of sort of a big thing that lots of people can do, not so personalized, the, the racetrack. But on a micro level, we have you know two million people a year on our ships, and they have a, a whole array of wants and needs. So everything from, um, we spent quite a bit of time with lavatories <laughs> um, and uh, sleep technology and all kinds of things that could literally make the environment for the guest more comfortable um, and more personalized. So uh, looking towards the end of the week, what do you think, um, Tracy, uh, will be some of the big sort of headlines coming out of CS this year? Uh, one of the things we're seeing is about the human-machine interface, and so this idea that the smartest device you own is your car, actually. So the idea of what that dashboard looks like, will you can see it extended across every part of the floor. You can see it over on the west with all the different wearables you have within the home, and also with everything that's happening from your smartphone into the smart car, it's this idea of how humans are going to interact with machines, and that battle for what's going to happen in the car and the dashboard is actually starting to see a lot of the stuff from the West try to embed itself into what's happening in autos. So this idea of what the dashboard of your world is going to look like is not like a simple metric. It's about owning that space. I think there's going to be a lot, there's a lot of dreamy stuff out there. I mean, it's awe-inspiring, but there's also this notion of what's useful to consumers.